I'm gonna grab the alder now. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Don't try this at home. Please don't. This is a nightmare. Hello guys. Welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today, today we are going to talk about gears towards the movie, my movie if you don't know, I've got a movie coming up that I've been planning for a while. One of the things in my head is to have a backup plan and my backup plan, uh, if I don't get the funding that I need is I know I can do it on my own. Like I can do it with a crew of about three or four, um, but I'd rather do that than not make the movie. Okay. So over the years I've been gathering, you know, equipment that I can use to um, shoot my movie. And I think I'm pretty much at that point where I, say, I can say, I think I'm, I'm ready if I have to do it on my own. Now that's the backup plan. Even the Ursa 12K is as a backup plan. I may not end up using that camera. It may just be, um, we, if we have the right funding, you know, hey, there's nothing wrong with shooting the movie with an Alexa 35, the new one that's out. There's nothing wrong with the Sony Venice or any of the Reds, you know, that have been proven over time. So while all those are great, I need to have a backup plan to ensure that it comes to pass. Before I even start trying to get, you know, funding and all that, I want to lay down my own um, equipment, my own plans, you know, my own backup crew. Without funding, we can run on this thing and um, get it done. Based on that, one of the things that I knew I had to get, actually for my opening scene, it's going to take, uh, it's a, it's a, like a golden hour shot, but we will need to shoot that a, a number of times. So one of the things I knew I would need to do was uh, start earlier in the day and shoot into that golden hour. In other words, uh, we will have to make do with hot sunlight and golden hour and probably keep them to look the same which means we need some form of diffusion, you know, sky panels and stuff like that, which I know I can't afford, but I can make do with something close. So uh, today we are looking at that um, item that I got off Amazon and it's um, the butterfly 8x8. I just thought that, you know, looking at the um, image from the um, from Amazon, the image on the side with this guy standing next to it, looking cool. It felt like, oh, okay, nice, nice. So I said, okay, you know what? I need something like that to um, the video I'm going to be showing you as B-roll is actually shot from, from maybe over a year ago, because like I said, it's been a while I've started this journey. So I tried it. I brought it out to set it up on my own. Oh, I got a d good deal for Sistans too. So it was two for one ninety nine. I don't think the deal is still available, but you know, back then, you know, everybody was saying the reviews were saying get get this before it goes because it's like it's too hot to stay uh, that way. But I'll put the links in the description if uh, if if I find it one person on each side you know from my experience i'm going to show you clips of me struggling with this stuff and trying to set it up and just try not to laugh anyway but it was a it was a learning experience and uh, i want to share that with you hello welcome to another time with me and the channel this is the diffusion it comes with its own frame it doesn't come with the stand so i had to buy these stands a pair of stands that are C stands. I got them for a deal. I hope they are what I you know, hope for. Um, on Amazon, it's $1.99, I think, for a pair. They are the cheapest C stands. $1.99 for both, both of them. So, so first of all, I'm going to uh, unbox this guy, which is the Diffusion. It comes with uh, a green screen. Now, this is... Uh, the green screen, it's got some of the bone ties or whatever it's called to keep this stuff in place. I think they have their own separate one. This is the black screen, lovely. It also has uh, its own 
ties. And this is the white one, which is the diffusion we are concerned about today. It also comes with its own bongo ties or whatever this is. So these two are clamps for holding the device uh, in, in place. Instruction. What's in here? I think this is the frame. get it out so we can get it out so it's quite portable okay. so so what happened this thing is dangerous any day any time I knew it was but I didn't know how dangerous it was uh, I could have hurt myself right now so now I know on vacation it's not going to be it's not definitely not going to be a one man thing um okay so here's how it works on this Ow! Uh. wow you see as heavy as this thing you st you don't want the wind to take it because this is a little weapon if carried by the wind Tie it up. Get. I, I doubt there, there's any way I can go wrong. We'll see. You know, but um, the reviews I saw were quite good, impressive, and uh, I had to tap on it. All right, so let's put this down. Now, this is uh, the hand or uh, the extension arm, which I don't think I'll be needing today. All right, we got it. Perfect. Okay, so. Yeah, it just looks like the a little bit, just a little bit thinner than the newer one. Um, yeah, but it's almost as heavy, you know. Well, maybe I'm just imagining, you know, I'm just <laughs> reacting to the fact that it's cheap, but it looks solid. Okay, so now we put this in. Um, some screw so we have our base and um, this it comes with uh, three pieces of this I believe these guys are gonna stay on the side like this so let's get those ones ready unscrew and fit them in Whew. nice it's windy and cold let's fix this open up lock it up Okay, let's uh, ready. Ah, uh, we're, we're about to lose the sun. We're gonna grab the holder now. 
Yeah. Oh. Don't try this at home. Please don't. This is a nightmare. Don't do this at home, guys. Oh my God. I'm about to break this. This is why they call it the butterfly, because we can wave it like we would like, whichever way you want, you can wave it. All right, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, I know you guys are laughing, but the idea is that I know, now I know better, like, you know, fine, I could struggle with it and get it um, set up, but uh, on a real shoot, I will, I will need to, you will need to, if you're doing planning something like this, get one person per stand because um, if the wind blows the other stand on the side, if the wind blows the other stand on that side and it tilts, it's still going to fall off. In my case, <laughs> it's probably going to be a, like a four hour shoot, multiple takes from the same angle, multiple takes from different angles of the same um, sequence and and that's probably going to be like four hour stretch of holding this stuff so that's a rare situation i'm i'm going to have throughout that duration i'm going to have two people mount it it's a lovely experience when you use these things this device uh indoors without the wind then you can set it up yourself it will be easy like a breeze you know and then you get the effect you diffuse the light and everything goes smoothly indoors although you still need to have um, sandbags to hold it in place i would advise one person stand by even though indoors one person stand by just in case somebody you know um you know does you know steps over it falls anything can happen on set so someone should be close by to make sure nobody gets hurt no no equipment gets broken the point is that um Test run anything you want to do. Hopefully this gives you an idea of uh, what to expect from this um, equipment. Since then I've got some more smaller options and I'm going to review some smaller options that are more suited for indoors, um, but definitely perfect for outdoors as well. But for outdoors, you got to have a two man crew mounted. As always, all the links will be in the description down below of everything I've talk talked about. All right, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.